Santa. And he's so happy he was crying before he went on stage. <laughs> anyway, Nathan! <laughs> So I got notes. I'm a nerd. I like writing things down. All right. So I know what you're thinking. David Baddiel and a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> a penis with stubble. I mean, I've got loads of these. <laughs> Uncle Festa, food poisoning. So <laughs> do the whole act on this. So. Um, so actually, I'm a mathematician, so who's a mathematician here? Yeah! yeah. yeah. So, so uh, yeah, I'm a mathematician, I love the maths. So, next five minutes I'm going to be hitting you with my weapons of math destruction. Yeah. Wow, pow, pow. <laughs> I'm actually, there's a lot of, uh, I'm good at a lot of maths, but I'm really good at adding up. So, in particular, probably my favourite is 20 plus 20. In fact, you could say that's my forte. Yeah. Uh, four <laughs> so, uh, yeah, before I go on, I'd just like to give you a little bit of a like, really fascinating background. So, there's brick wall here. <laughs> Some kind of like light feature, industrial. I don't think it's an original. It's nice, uh, <laughs> solid. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, I mean, you can probably see, uh, I like, uh, shapes are really important to me, like isosceles triangles, and I like working out, you know, I like working out with a uh, pencil and graph paper. <laughs> so, uh, I recently broke up with my girlfriend, this is math <laughs> I got in with a bad crowd actually. Um, I call them the algebras. <laughs> and we got into a little bit of trouble with the police. I know, uh, bad boy green, Nathan Green. So uh, yeah, the mass police we were drink driving. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, okay, that's probably not fair actually. That's fine with that. So anyway, I'll tell you what, number seven's a shit, isn't it? Oh, number seven? Oh, oh, God, I hate him. It's like teacher's pet. Oh, I love number seven. Oh, what's your favourite number? Seven. Oh, he's so lucky. Oh, shut up, seven. Oh, God, I hate seven. I flush his head down the toilet. Oh, an eight? Eight? Fat shit. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm trying to hide it, like with the, the little like waist belt thing going on. Oh, I mean, two fat ladies, one fat lady, fat and lonely. Oh, God. I mean, I mean it's like Kim Kardashian of numbers. And then we're like, okay, so eight's fat, right? What's zero? A beast, and not even hiding it. Oh, she'll never get a man, honestly. Never. Just eating crisps. <laughs> and then, yeah, I think mean, what's worse for zero, looking over her shoulder, number one. Oh, silly bitch. Seriously, eating tissue paper, taking selfies. Oh, they're all as bad as each other. I know one of the six went with nine. <laughs> So anyway, I, uh, I had like this revelation the other day. I realised that actually the top of a fraction is really similar to the bottom of a fraction. There's like a fine line between the two. <laughs> oh God, right. You can Google anything, I do. So uh, I'm a bit of a um, creativist. Not creationist, like racist, I hate creatives. Oh, God, they get my nerves. They're like numbers, you know, they're so annoying with their like hipster, trendy, skinny jeans. You know, why are they called hipster when the girls are wearing up here? What's that like? God, they're so annoying. They're like, uh, what have I got? They've got their stupid little round glasses. They think they're so clever, watching their art house films. I've seen loads of black and white films. 
Loads of times. I've seen Kung Fu Panda twice. <laughs> One and two. God, oh, you're so clever. Yeah, so anyway, I was at a party the other day, and there was, I was talking to this little bit of a cougar, bit of this sexy older lady, you know, we were chatting to each other. And uh, she was, we were talking about like what I do. I say I'm a mathematician. And she goes, oh, I haven't got a maths kind of brain. I was rubbish at maths at school. You know, I just haven't got that kind of brain. And I thought, this is a bit where I'm going to teach it. And I thought, oh, no, there's no such thing as a maths kind of brain. Uh, maths is just like conceptualizing something in order for us to live in reality. There's no even such thing as a number. It's just a symbol. Language itself is a symbol. How we communicate through language is just a symbol of a reality in order for us to live our lives. Exactly yeah. the same as numbers. <laughs> Oh, I didn't say that. <laughs> I said, uh, well, I think there's only two types of people. People who think the types of people and the rest of the people. Aha. <laughs> so uh, I was being pretty Oscar Wilde by the whole thing, pretty smug. And uh, as I was saying, I said, well, actually, you haven't just got a maths brain. You've got a massive wanker brain as well. <laughs> and that's it. I was shocked. I said, uh, I said, oh, I can't believe it. I said, Mum, you've had too much to drink with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that's it. So, uh, by the way, I'm a mathematician, so uh, probably didn't pick up on that. And you've been a great audience. Thank you. <laughs> Explode the TV here! Give him a cheer! And we've got here, she runs the most successful comedy club in like, North London, let's say. Yeah. No, let's say the world. TNT's proprietor and all-round genius, Summer Wolf! Yeah. Woo!